Buffalo's vacation attractions possess a unique authenticity, allowing tourists to feel comfortable while experiencing a smorgasbord of art, architecture, and activities that were created with the pure intention of, en of enhancing a culture. Okay. Uh, first job in advertising is to get attention. Unless you get attention, you're not going to engage people. They will not see your message, hear your message, read your message, and thus they cannot respond to it. So stopping power, getting attention, is the most important part of what we're doing when we set out to advertise. This concept has stopping power for weeks. It, uh, I believe it would be talked about nationally. It is edgy, and as a creative person, that is our job, to go out there and find those things that break through on behalf of clients. Um, if anybody's not awake yet, I believe you will be in a couple of seconds when we see this. Uh, pure, real, fun, thought-provoking. Buffalo is art, the art of experience and definitely unexpected. So, what is this uh, edgy, impactful concept? <laughs> in the book. Yes, we are talking about using naked people in the advertising. Tastefully, artfully, stylishly. Think absolute vodka. They always have clever ways to show their product in new settings related to their target. We will show naked people tastefully, never crossing the boundary of good taste or intelligence or cleverness, but getting attention and making people see and notice your advertising and talk about it. Next slide, please. Um, this concept has legs, uh, the legs of a millipede. If you look toward the bottom, you can dine in the buff, you can work in the buff, meet in the buff, rock in the buff for music, explore in the buff. If you want to target specific attractions, Jackson Pollock in the buff, Frank Lloyd Wright in the buff, or Experience art in the buff. This is almost a work of art. And okay, maybe we crop it a little higher. <laughs> to please everybody and not offend, but this will most definitely get attention. As we said, that's the first job. And it can work in a lot of different ways. All of the concepts you're going to see today have, and in the buff, I really like because it's something unique to us. Cleveland cannot say in the cleave. <laughs> Pittsburgh cannot say in the pits. Well, and that was an example. Pittsburgh cannot say in the pits. <laughs> they could, they probably don't want to. We're probably the only city that can say in the buff. And in the buff, as naked as the day you were born. It's genuine, it's real. There's nothing to hide. And that's a beautiful thing about this community. I'm a Rochester guy originally. Rochester was called Smug Town for decades. Kodak, Xerox, Bausch & Long, great employment. And we're doing very well, thank you. But we always kind of envied Buffalo, because Buffalo was this boisterous, slap you on the back, real place, friendly place. And, and you liked going there. So in the buff captures that in a way only we can say. And all of these concepts have that real sense of place, New York Times quote, that I think is something that makes it great to visit here, great to live here, and we want to capture that. This is an out there way to do it. Maybe it's two out there, maybe it's not, but it will definitely get attention. So that's two. Thank you, Mike. And the third concept is going to be presented by Joe Sweeney from Travis Collins. <laughs>